Hej, cześć, z tej strony Arturo, witam was na swoim kanale i zapraszam was na nową seryjkę, tym razem z gry Broken Sword 2.5 Powrót Templariuszy. Mm, jest to fanowska kontynuacja dwóch poprzednich części, czyli Broken Sword 1 i 2. Yy, zapraszam was na let's play z tych gier na kanale Wicka, linki znajdują się w opisie. A z racji tego, że ja przygotowuję się na troszkę cięższy tytuł, czyli Bohemian Killing, chciałem się troszeczkę odstresować i dlatego wybrałem sobie właśnie ten tytuł, ponieważ jest łatwy i krótki. Dlatego seryjka też przebiegnie szybko, a ja nie przedłużając już dłużej, po prostu klikam nowa gra i zaczynamy przygodę. It's been a long time since I've seen Nico. And then there's this telegram. Sender unknown. It says Nico's dead.
The rain was pattering onto the passenger plane from Madrid to Paris, while it was in its final descent. Dismal day in this big city. Strange seeing Rougerie after all those years. So let's go. Nico, thank God you're okay. George. I thought something had happened to you. Why would you think that? Um, did I get it wrong completely? This telegram here. I don't know anything about it. You don't know anything about it? Is that all you have to say? For God's sake, I, I was worried about you. As you can see, I'm fine. Would you mind leaving now? I've got a lot of work to do. Nico, what's wrong with you? I travel all the way from America to be close to you, to look after you, to have you near me, and now you're so dismissive. Sorry, George. I'm busy right now. I'd better go then. Would be better. No, dobra, moi drodzy. Dotarliśmy do Paryża. Porozmawialiśmy sobie z Nico. Okazało się, że jednak żyje, ale jest jakaś strasznie dziwna. Wyrzuciła nas po prostu z pokoju. Mm, wejść tam teraz nie możemy, ale zejdziemy sobie na dół. Yes, it's me, Nicole. George has just been in. The telegram arrived after all. Hmm, strange. No właśnie, dziwne. O co chodzi z Nico? I'm kind of expecting a mad clown to jumping around the corner and knocking me out with his accordion now. My fears are proved to be unfounded. Instead, I'm standing in the middle of Paris, confused. I have questions, so many questions. Does Nico have anything to do with this telegram? If yes, why would she do a thing like that? I think about it for some time, until I see her, sitting there patiently, selling flowers. Just as though time had stopped. She helped me once. Why not a second time? No tak, mnóstwo pytań, na które nie znamy odpowiedzi. Spójrzcie na te lokacje w ogóle, takie strasznie rysunkowe, kolorowe. Mm. Nie różnią się w ogóle od tych z Broken Sword 1 czy 2. A dodam jeszcze raz, że jest to y, gra stworzona przez fanów. Tak więc naprawdę odwalili kawał dobrej roboty. Mm. Siedzi sobie kwieciarka, porozmawiamy sobie z nią. Excuse me. Oui? O, oh, it's you. Didn't I tell you you would come back? Um, yes, you sure did. <laughs> okay, co my tutaj mamy? What have you been doing all this time? I've been selling flowers, telling fortunes to the customers, the usual stuff. <laughs> well, it's not that usual, is it? It is to me. Damn yes. Don't you ever get fed up with selling flowers and telling fortunes? You know, I've done this for years now. After such a long time, it is difficult to start anything different. You could produce your own TV show. Something like, things you always wanted to know about your future. Not a bad idea. But I think I'm going to carry on selling my flowers. After all, I don't want to make a show of my gift. I understand. Good. Hmm. Czyli babcia przepowiada przyszłość, tak? 
No, I'm afraid I don't know what's going on with your girlfriend. Pardon? Ah, you were reading my mind. Well, it's in my nature to predict the conversational topics people are going to confront me with. And what do I want to ask? You want to know what your girlfriend has been doing during the last couple of weeks. Damn it. You're absolutely right. I can't tell you anything precise. Only this. Your girlfriend went out late in the evening a lot. Was she accompanied by a worm? Pardon? A blonde man with a ponytail. Ugly, wears specs and shorts, and goes by the name of Andre Labanu. I don't think so. Ah, uh, a lot off my mind. After a few days, her going out suddenly stopped. I hadn't seen her again till this morning. What do you mean? She didn't seem to leave her flat. That's not like her at all. Maybe you were talking to a customer when she came out. No, I don't think so. I have plenty of time to look at the scenery, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I do. Business is going badly. Well, you could put it like that. I'm sorry. I didn't want to rub salt into the wound. You still have me as a regular customer, and I will certainly be back. <laughs> Może wychodziła z padalcem. Okej, okay, zapytamy się jej o pogodę. Can you tell me what's going on with the weather here in Paris? When I arrived, there was pouring rain and now bright sunshine. Yes, it's true. And it will rain again today. And it's going to be worse than this morning. Well then, I should take advantage of this beautiful weather. Besides, I have nothing better to do anyway. How about a nice little ice cream? Now that you mention it, good idea, actually. In Rouge Park, there is a very good ice cream parlor. Mm hmm, czyli za chwilę się tam udamy, ale porozmawiamy na resztę tematów. Yes, I can. Could we handle this in the traditional way? Meaning, I ask first and you answer afterwards. That's more familiar to me. Oui. So, can you tell me if I'll go on a long journey again? Do you really want to know that? I guess so. You are going to die. What? If you're not careful. <laughs> well, that's nothing special. You will meet someone unexpected. That blonde ponytailed worm? No, it's not him. It is a rather good looking person. Male or female? That's five euros, please. Come on. Well, I'm sorry, but soothsaying has its price. Pity. But uh, I'll do you a favor. I'll give you this newspaper. Wow, thanks. I'm honored. Why are you giving it to me? When the time comes, you'll know. <laughs> Czyli George kogoś pozna. Czy to będzie mężczyzna, czy kobieta, tego nie wiadomo. Nie dowiemy się, póki nie zapłacimy 5 euro. Where do I find Rouge Park? Do you know Hermetic de Navelle? Better known as Sit de Baphomet. I sure do. Years ago I borrowed a bucket from a painter, tricked a bouncer, then I... Monsieur. Oh, sorry. What was I... Ah, yes. Two roads on from there, the park begins. It's not particularly big, but the ice cream parlor is worth a visit. Thanks for the tip. I must be going now. Maybe we'll see each other again. Yes, we will. Certainly. Oh no, that sounds familiar. No dobra, czyli udamy się kupić sobie małego zimnego ludzika. <laughs> Ale najpierw rozejrzyjmy się... Zobaczmy, co tu, co tu jest. Smashing the window would be the wrong way, and way too tiring. There are a lot of beautiful things in there. Unfortunately, I don't think there's anything that would fit me. No, raczej suknia ślubna na ciebie nie będzie pasowała, George. Niestety. Albo stety. Park Rouge. The flower vendor was right. Apart from the ice cream parlor, which is in fact an ice cream van, and the fountain, there isn't much here. Baweczka. Czy możemy na niej usiąść? 
I can't sit down now. I must find out what's wrong with Nico. Muszę odkryć, co się stało z Nico, ale idziemy na loda. No bo w końcu pani kwieciarka nam to przypowiadała, żebyśmy sobie zjedli zimnego loda. What can I do for you? I'd like three scoops of ice cream, please. One strawberry, one vanilla, and one chocolate. That's three euros. Oh. No, no, don't tell me you haven't got any money. I don't have to say it if you don't want to hear it. Can't guys like you think of a better way to... Listen, it's not a scam or whatever you're about to call it. Oh, isn't it? And what is it then? Actually... I see. Come back when you have the money. Okej, okay, czyli lodziarz nie sprzedał nam mm, waniliowych lodów, ponieważ nie mamy kasy, ale kliknijmy prawym przyciskiem myszy na gazetę, którą dostaliśmy od kwieciarki. This is the newspaper the flower vendor gave me. It's folded twice. One of the headlines catches my eye. Café de la Chandelle Verte opens its gates at 4 o'clock this afternoon for the first time since the bombing. I should stop by. I kliknijmy jeszcze raz. I find an envelope wrapped in the paper. It reads for the right moment. I pojawiła nam się koperta, w której znajdują się. There are three euros in the envelope. The vendor really knew what was going to happen. <laughs> Kasiarka, możemy kupić sobie wymarzonego loda. It's me again. I'm telling you, if you don't have money now, you're in trouble. Three euros. You see? I don't want to know where you got them. Here's your ice cream. Thanks. Ew. This ice cream tastes like dead socks. Gross. <laughs> George, a skąd ty wiesz, jak smakują stare skarpety? Mam nadzieję, że nie próbowałeś. No i znajdujemy się w lokacji z pierwszej części. Mam nadzieję, że nie wyskoczy za chwilę klaun, a restauracja nie wybuchnie. It would be silly to rip them off. An advertising column with a few commercial posters. Not very interesting. Apart from one advertisement I noticed right away. Retired gendarme looking for a vacancy as an assistant policeman. Assistant policeman. That's typical of the French. Under the main part of the advertisement, there is another sentence. Don't cross the road until the little man shows green. <laughs> no właśnie, dość pouczające, żeby nie przechodzić na czerwonym świetle. Bo asystent policjanta was zatrzyma i dostaniecie mandat. Mamy tutaj kelnereczkę. Fajna dziewczyna, blondyneczka. Mhm. Mm Monsieur, stop. Stop. Stobart, do you still remember me? Yes, certainly. Your friend Nico used to talk about you a lot. And um, besides, you're the man who helped me up and comforted me after the attack. And you didn't give me alcohol to drink. <laughs> what have you been doing all these years after the attack? If I tell you that, you'll think I'm crazy. I'm doing that already. Uh, to microphone, je comprends. I beg your pardon? <laughs> Just thinking out loud. So... Whatever. After the bombing, I worked in a small cafe just around the corner. Didn't you have to recover from the shock? Not really, to be honest. Crazy. Didn't I tell you? When this cafe reopened, I didn't hesitate for a second. And here I am. It's just great to hear such a success story in these depressing times. I'll have a seat. Okay. If I can get you anything, just call me. We? Oui? Okay, thank you. Okay, dziękuję. Mamy tutaj bar. I shouldn't just help myself. I don't believe it. After all these years, they've really whipped this cafe into shape. Mm, no dobra, usiądziemy sobie. To ten gościu w tym kucyku, który się umawia z Niko. No. Who's that? Oh, it's George, our friend and adventurer. Hi, 
Andre. What brings you back to Paris after all this time? Let's say it's private. It's something to do with Nico, oui? Oui! Tak, jest to coś wspólnego z Nico. It's about Nico. Something about a disappearance, oui? She disappeared? Didn't you know that? No, I didn't. She didn't tell me. Hmm. Jak mogła Nico zniknąć, skoro byliśmy u niej rano? A while ago, Nico went completely underground. For two or three weeks, nobody heard anything from her. Her employer was worried too, and I informed the police. Why didn't anyone tell me? I sent you a text message. Stop lying, Andre! Okay, I I didn't think it necessary for you to get involved. I'm her boyfriend, goddammit. Ex-boyfriend, you mean? No, no. I usually mean exactly what leaves my mouth. Oh, whatever. Nico reappeared after these three weeks, just as though nothing had happened. E? What did she say? When I asked her about her being gone for so long, she only told me she had visited her mother in the country. That makes sense, I guess. Georges, her mother has been dead for nearly two years now. Maybe Nico thought I didn't know, or maybe... Maybe what? I don't know. But the worst is yet to come. It gets even worse? Oh yes, there was a rumor that Nico had tried to kill Bernard Lemar, the acting mayor of Paris. Do you really believe that? I don't know what to think. Since she has been meeting those people, she hasn't been who she used to be. Meeting what people? Come out with it, Andre! I don't have any details, but I know that she regularly attended those strange group meetings. One night I followed her, but near Montfasson, I lost track of her. Uh huh. Montfasson, but that's the place where... Exactly. The place where the Templars suffered their worst hour, and where regular near Templar meetings are held. It can't be true. Nico and the Templars? It makes absolutely no sense. Why not? The evidence clearly indicates that. Sounds like you're suspecting Nico. I'm a student of history, George. I believe in facts, and the facts do not give a good impression of Nicole. My grandfather died, Nico isn't who she was, and is suspected of trying to assassinate the mayor. That's just incredible. Have you asked Nico about the attempted assassination, Andre? I did, but she denied everything. No i tego powinniśmy się trzymać, że Nico nie jest morderczynią, ale co z tego wyniknie naprawdę? Did the local press cover the story? They did, George. The story went through all the papers for days. France National had a particularly elaborate take on the topic. Interesting. Maybe the paper's archive can be of help to you. The papers must still be available from there. How did these rumors actually emerge? I mean, how is anyone supposed to know that Nico was the assassin? Is there any evidence? I'm sorry, Georges, but I must be going. See you later. What a pity to see you go. I don't know much yet. The only clue I have is the France Nationale, and I must find out what's behind those rumors. I have a feeling Nico might be in danger. Okay, czyli dowiedzieliśmy się parę dość interesujących faktów na temat Nico. Ale nie wydaje mi się, żeby ona była morderczynią. Okej, okay, udamy się do French National. Hmm. Hmm. The building is in a sorry state. Yeah, sure. I'll just put it in my pocket. No jasne, George. Skoro ty masz takie przestrzenne te kieszenie i możesz tam schować wszystko, to i budynek się zmieści. Spróbujmy wejść przez te drzwi. A heavy door secured by a padlock. Okay. Czyli wejść nie możemy. Great idea. Kicking in the door, shouting, Hello, it's George Stobart, and I'm burgling this building. Maybe it would be wiser to try and get inside a little less conspicuously. 
<śmiech> no ja na miejscu George'a bym tak właśnie zrobił. Biegłbym do środka i bym powiedział, że chcę was okraść. Niestety nic tam zrobić nie możemy. Musimy udać się z powrotem do Ryu Jerry. Jerry. Yy, wyjdziemy sobie do domu Niko. Jej teraz tam pewnie nie ma. Ale możemy się tu troszeczkę rozejrzeć. Mamy tutaj śrubokręt. Always useful. Hmm. Weźmiemy sobie też sweter. Quite big and fuzzy. Yeah, that's a place I know well. Great idea, cuddling into the blanket and pretending everything was fine. But I have to know what's wrong with Nico. <laughs> Leży część notatki. A note. I can see the letters M E T. Is that a place? Mamy połowę notatki. Druga połówka znajduje się na tablicy, którą sobie właśnie teraz weźmiemy. Bap ho. Hmm. Seems like the rest of the note is missing. That's it. Bap ho, Matt. But what now? No, myślę, że jest to hasło do komputera. Ale najpierw przerijemy sobie trepkę, Niko. Wiem, że to nieładnie grzebać w damskiej torebce. No, ale nie mamy wyjścia. Hmm. The bag seems to be quite full. My hands reach into the bag. Ouch! I cut myself on a sharp metal something. As I get it out, I realize it's a pair of scissors. Nasty. Again, my hands touch something pointed, but this time I'm prepared for it. A hairpin. The last time I reach into Nico's handbag, I feel something smooth. Oh my god, it's a small purple slip. Probably another of Andre's presents. That sneaky little... <laughs> yeah, mamy różowe stringi. Mamy spinkę do włosów, którą... Y... Now the hairpin is a perfect lockpick. No właśnie, którą przerobimy sobie na wytrych. Y... Jest też plakat z Broken Sword dwójeczki. No, I won't. Why should I rip it from the wall? There is a poster with Broken Sword 2 on it. <laughs> Nothing happens. The operating system seems to be secured with a password. Zabezpieczony hasem, ale hasło znajduje się właśnie na tej notatce. I type in Baphomet. It bleeps and buzzes. Then the screen displays a list of names and addresses. The right edge of the paper shows the coat of arms of the Parisian police. That must be a copy of an official document. Maybe an address list. Maybe Nico is working on a new story. I can't make heads or tails of it. Jak widać, na automatycznej sekretarce świeci się światełko, czyli możemy odebrać wiadomość. The unread message light is blinking on it. I know it's not exactly gentlemanly to listen to someone else's messages. Even though in this case that someone else is my girlfriend, but I must know who called Nico. It's me. Since you're not in, I guess you're on your way to our meeting place. I expect you to be at the fountain on time. At the fountain? Which fountain did the voice mean? No, właśnie, którą fontannę miał na myśli? Możemy sobie wyjrzeć jeszcze przez okno. Not really feeling like suicide at the moment. Maybe later. <laughs> Może trochę później. Yes, I could actually throw it out of the window, but somehow I'm lacking the whole George overcome all your doubts and destroy that stupid thing impulse. <laughs> Kto trzyma posągi w domu? No, na pewno nie ja. Czyli co? Czyli gdzie teraz musimy się udać? Pojawił nam się Mont Fauxun, Fauxun, Gongong. No i po raz kolejny mamy miejsce z Broken Sword'a jedynki. Powracają wspomnienia. <laughs> oh. 
I've got lots of memories of this place. This time again, a trace led me here. I don't feel like coffee at the moment. Maybe later. A ja z przyjemnością napiłbym się kawy. Okej, okay, dobra, wejdziemy sobie po schodach do góry. Znajduje się tu Kloszard, który bawi się latarką, a my właśnie potrzebujemy latarki. Hi, my name is Stobart. George Stobart. And my name is Les. I'm Les. Is that your flashlight? Yes, it is. And I'm not selling. What if I gave you something else in return? You don't have anything I want, believe me. If you knew what I sometimes carry around, I once had a fish in my pocket. But I'm sure you don't have the item of my dreams. Who knows? You have a woman slip with you, oui? You're not serious, are you? Oh, why not? Many guys have a feminine side. I don't. You do. Just look at your hair, too. What about it? It's feminine. <laughs> it's not. It's just blonde. It's as masculine as my physique. That was the second thing I wanted to mention. Stop it. I'll see if I can get you a slip. <laughs> Siedzi sobie gościu. Mm, wygląda w sumie jak bezdomny. I chce damskie majteczki, które my akurat posiadamy. I've got the slip. Give it here now. Here you are. But I want the flashlight. There you go. Hmm. I don't know, but the battery seem to be dead. Thanks. No nie, gość się dostał damskie majtki i teraz je wącha. <laughs> Zboczeniec. Okej. Okay. Udało nam się zyskać latareczkę. Niestety baterie nie działają, ale jest tutaj skrzynka z bezpiecznikami. Spróbujmy ją otworzyć. Um, no. Not without a good reason and above all, not with my bare hands. Nie idzie, no ale mam śrubokręt. Now I've found an item that's worth risking my life for. Two freaking batteries. Well, it's better than nothing. Są tam dwie bateryjki, ale... Jak wiadomo, gołymi rękoma nie powinno się dotykać yy, izolacji, prądu i tym podobne. Dlatego w tym celu użyjemy sobie swetra. Damn, that hurt! But at least I have courageously acquired two Mafasol batteries. Great! No dobra, włóżmy je do latareczki. Eee, musimy udać się teraz z powrotem do tego archiwum pod te drzwi, które nie mogliśmy wcześniej otworzyć, które są zamknięte kutką. No ale mamy przecież wytrych ze spinki, tak? Czyli powinno nam się udać je otworzyć. Damn, the batteries seem to be dead. Ouch! Ah! Oops! I should hurry up. Powinienem się pospieszyć. Gaśnica. Okej, okay, my szukamy notatki, która znajduje się w tym miejscu na tej półeczce. Tak więc od razu sobie tam podejdziemy. Nie będziemy przeszukiwać wszystkiego. While searching the shelf, I find an issue that seems most interesting. The attempted assassination is criticized in bold letters. Reporter under suspicion of murder. The renowned Parisian journalist Nicole Collard was released without charge early on Monday evening after several hours of interrogation. According to police inspector Henry, suspicions of Miss Collard being involved in the murder of Mayor Bernard Lemire could not be backed up with hard evidence. 
Lemire had lived under the threat of repeated assassination attempts in recent months after overtly confronting Parisian cults and their totalitarian structures. The 34-year-old photographer Collard came under suspicion when the Irish journalist Ferdinand Arvin accused her of being involved with the assassination and membership of a cult called the Knights Templar. Irvin announced he would back up his accusations with hard evidence within the next couple of weeks. He is currently living in an unidentified safe house under 24-hour guard by police for his own safety. That makes no sense. Why should Nico want to kill anyone? I must learn something about that reporter, Irwin. But how? Wow, ktoś rzucił koktajl Małotowa. Wszystko płonie, no nie, musimy się jakoś uwolnić. Spróbujmy wziąć gaśnicę. Damn it! It's stuck! That was close. I seem to have made an enemy. Strange. The only one who knew I was here was Andre. Jedyną osobą, która wiedziała, że tu będziemy, jest Andre, ale wątpię, żeby on starał się nas zabić. Musimy udać się z powrotem do pokoju Niko, skorzystać z jej komputera i ustalić adres tego reportera Irwin, czy jak on tam się nazywa. As I look at the list again, the name Ferdinand Arvin catches my eye. That's the journalist mentioned in the same newspaper article as Nico. Right next to his name, it says Mouvage 12. That's the Hotel Ubu! Nico kills Mayer. Nico gets interrogated. Nico disappears. Reporter claims to have incriminating evidence. Nico reappears and has Arvin's secret address on her computer. I have a bad feeling about this. And not only because I'm talking like Andre. Ach, jakie to wszystko jest skomplikowane. Mam nadzieję, że uda nam się rozwiązać tą sprawę i dowiemy się, o co tak naprawdę chodzi z tym morderstwem burmistrza. I wydaje mi się, że Niko została wrobiona w to morderstwo, ale w jakim celu? Tego nie wiem jeszcze. Dotarliśmy pod hotel Ubu, ale w tym miejscu zakończymy sobie ten odcineczek. Mam nadzieję, że Wam się podobało. Dzięki wielkie za uwagę i trzymajcie się. Do usłyszenia w kolejnej części. Piona!